All right, so <laughs> this is gonna be my 100th video. <laughs> it's gonna be my 100th video already. Um, my mom kept coming in like the the. other 100s okay anyways that's not even the point so hello guys welcome to my channel i hope you guys are doing great i hope you guys are having a great day and wherever you guys are watching this video i hope you guys do get a laugh at me because it's kind of funny uh but it's kind of dangerous so uh be aware of sneezing um so i did if you guys are kind of confused or like are like what the hell is she talking about i did a poll on my instagram about making a story time about Either me sneezing and almost dying or my house burning down and I got, um, oh my god my camera's like, oh, um, I did like uh, a poll as I was saying of like either those two options and then I got um, a lot of um, people wanting to see the one of me sneezing and almost dying but it did get 50-50 so I did decide that I should um, do both stories if you guys really like this one then I'll probably do the second one and tell you guys how my house burned down. So let's get started. Okay, so <clears throat> how I sneezed and almost died. So get your popcorn, get your micheladas, get your tacos, get your whatever you, your candy to uh, listen to this story. Okay, so um, this happened probably in um, uh, last summer. It was last summer. Uh, I believe, I don't know if it was uh, May or June. And I was on vacation, like summer vacation. It had like barely started. I think it was like a week. I'm pretty sure. And um, I was finally done with like the semester of college. So I was like, you know, sleeping in. Because, you know, I don't really get to sleep in when I'm going to school. Um, so I was sleeping in this bed. As you guys can see. And um, so I was sleeping in. I was thinking the day ahead before that. And I was like, oh, you know what? Tomorrow I want to do so many things since I'm not going to. Like, it's my day, it's like my first day of summer. Like, something always bad happens to me. Like, summers. I don't know if I'm, like, cursed or something. Um, but anyways, I'm like, You know, it's my first summer. I'm gonna, like, protect it. And I'm gonna go to the gym. And I'm gonna, like, sleep in. Finally, I'm gonna have a bum out breakfast. Time. So, yeah. So, I was already planning all these things to happen, right? So, it was the morning. Um... <laughs> so... Sleeping in. And I remember, like, um, waking up and, um... I, I don't know why I always look at the time. I don't know if you guys always look at the time when you guys wake up. Because sometimes like I wake up and I'm, it's like super early and it's like 7 and I'm like, I, I can sleep more. Or like it's like 10 I'm like, oh shit, I need to wake up. So I remember waking up and it was exactly 8.50. I'm just kidding. I don't know. It was like 8 something. And I was like, um, okay, it's time to get up. Like, let me get up, right? So I was getting up and... Um, this is going to get a little uh, rated R. Um, I'm just kidding, like, a little personal, okay? So, um, I don't know about you guys, but every time I have to get up, I have to go to the bathroom. Well, I have to pee. And, um, not number two, number one, okay? Maybe number two is good, too. I mean, it's cool if you do do number two. Um, do your doo-doo. Um, anyway, so then <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I would show you guys, but... Should I okay, so anyways, my bed's right here. I have a bathroom right in front of my bed. And I could just literally get up and then just walk to the bathroom. So, I'll probably show you guys that area because that, that area is important. That's where I almost died. So, so I'm walking to the bathroom. Here, I'll show you guys. So, you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys could see. Okay. So, this is my bed. I don't mind the mess, whatever. And this is the bathroom i don't know if there's anything dirty so okay so this is the bathroom <laughs> okay cool hopefully it wasn't dirty because if not i'm getting it out all right we're back all right so that's the bathroom right so i'm like walking in the bathroom right and then i'm gonna go to the bathroom so i just sit there and i'm like half asleep like i'm still like waking up processing life and i'm like sitting on the toilet like i'm like i sat on the toilet right guys and I'm sitting here, and I'm, like, doing my thing, and then all of a sudden, I, well, I have to sneeze, you know? I'm like, oh, my God, like, I have to sneeze. So then I'm like, Hoo! I sneeze, and as soon as I sneeze, like, I felt something on my neck, like, like, it, like, like, if it was a vein, like, if it popped on my neck, and, like, it literally just, I just felt like, go, like, I guess you're probably laughing at me, but, like, literally, it <laughs> felt like it was, like, and I was, like, what the like i was peeing so 
<laughs> like while this happening, I was being okay. So I was like, it was like, and then I was like, what the? Like it actually kind of hurt, and I was like, oh, what the? Like I've never felt that in my life before. So all I remember is like me like touching my neck as as soon as after I sneezed, I was like, like what the hell? Like I just touched my neck, and then like after that, boom, I black out. Like I do not remember anything. Like I just like. Remember, I'm like sitting there and I, I the last thing I remember was me touching like my neck and being like, oh shit, like, like that hurt. And then like, I think I, cause I don't even remember a lot. I just remember like I, I blacked out and then somehow I ended up like falling on like, like it, it's so weird because my toilet, like pretend this is the toilet and like my head ended up like right next to the toilet so if i'm like sitting like this like how the heck did like there's not not really enough like room for my whole body to fit in between like the toilet and the wall so like i'm pretty sure maybe like putazo, like super hard or something and like i just remember like i guess i fell so my whole body like fell. my head was next to the toilet and then i was like having a seizure and I, I remember this because obviously when I was waking up, I was twitching, like my head was banging, like like my whole body was like twitching and it was like banging like on the toilet, like my head was like banging on the toilet and I was like, uh, that's when I started like coming back to conscious, you know, like back to life, like oh shit, like I just freaking passed out and blacked out like and i don't know if i was having a seizure or not but that shit hurt you know so i was like banging on my head and like i finally like stopped and i could feel like i legit felt like i died like i was dying and i just remember like getting up and like trying to like come back to life like breathe but i felt like my blood pressure dropped and then i was like like i was alone in the room like my sister had like we usually share rooms but like she had gone to work you know so i was like bug like I think I'm freaking dying like or I'm about to die because that's how I felt like like I need help like I can't even get up like I felt so weak you guys so I was like I need to tell my mom I need to tell her goodbye you know, I was already planning my own funeral I was like I'm about to die so I was, like trying to get up like I was on the floor and like literally I was trying to because I tried to get up so I grabbed on the handle of my door of the bathroom and I tried to get up but I felt that if I stood up, I was gonna like pass out again or freaking die or something. So like I like started crawling. So I was like crawling. You guys could just see me. Like I was literally crawling for my life to get to my door. That's like all the way over here. So my bathroom's over here. My door's all the way over here. So I was like, I need to like tell my mom. Like mom, I'm freaking dying or something. I don't know what you ha what the hell just happened. Like I don't even know how like long I was blacked out for. Or how long I was banging my head on the toilet for. Like into the door and my mom i'm like screaming like because i get to the door but like i'm so weak to even open it like i'm like i couldn't even twist the knob and i was like um see maybe this is why you shouldn't close your door but um my mom could not hear me out for the life of, like for the life of me i was like screaming i was like i was like ama ama <laughs> Because I wanted her to get my attention, but my mom was too busy having a party over here while she was cleaning I don't know if like your parents do this, but my mom every time she's cleaning like she like bumps up the music to like level 100 And she's over here like I just saw her like like barriendo like dancing and shit and I'm like Ma, I'm ma. Like I was legit like trying to scream mom and I couldn't like and she couldn't hear me because she had the music blasting You know she was like all like into her freaking music and all of a sudden like I just see her like mopping and like dancing And then like like I, I opened the door but like I was looking at her like help me I'm gonna die And then like she like makes eye contact with me like she finally like turns around after like a hundred freaking brooms She like turns around and she sees me and then she's like She's like, ay mija, you know, like she drops the fucking uh, broom or mop, whatever that was. But anyway, she like runs to the, to my door and then she like helps me get up and then she like sits me down. She says, she said that when she saw me, I looked pale, like, like she said I looked like a paper. She said I looked, I looked like I was dying. And then um, I was like, oh, so she sat me down and then I was like, I think I, I think I blacked out. I was like. You could commit my yeah, you know. So I was like, Mom, no, it's okay. Like I feel weak, you know. And then all of a sudden, my neck couldn't move. Like I kid you not, guys. Like 
I would turn like just like this and I think like because of the banging on the toilet I fucked up my neck or when I freaking flipped did like a fucking 360 when I fucking fell off the toilet like I broke my neck or something so <laughs> like it hurts so bad I couldn't even like turn my neck and so I was just like sitting here like sitting on the couch and there, there used to be a couch right here and my mom was like what do I do what do I do like she was like freaking out you know she's like yeah yeah and I was like it like Call my mom what? No, I'm just kidding. I was like, um, let me call my sister. So I called my sister because I don't know. I felt like she was like who to call. I should call the ambulance, but I don't know why I call her. So I was like, dude, like, I don't know what happened. So I told the story. Anyway, so we do not call 911. My mom just like, my sister comes flying from, because you know, that shit's like expensive. You call the ambulance? <laughs> no. So I was like, my sister ended up like coming from work like really fast, like, like, I don't even know how she got here so quick. And I felt like I wanted to go to sleep. Like, um, my, my body started cooling down. But, I, like, I still couldn't move my neck. But, mom, I wanted to sleep. Like, I got so sleepy. And I kept telling my mom, like, mom, I want to go to sleep. And she's like, no, no te duermas. Because that means, like, don't go to sleep. Because I guess I just like this Hispanic myth that if you hit your head or... or I, actually, this is probably not even a Hispanic myth. Probably it's, like, actually, like, true. But they say that if you go to sleep after like an incident like if you hit yourself or something like really hard it's not good to let you fall asleep because you could die or something i don't know that's probably like fake news but anyways so um yeah so i was getting sleepy and then mom was like trying to keep me up like waking me up and then my sister came we went to the hospital so we went all the way to all of you which is like uh 30 minutes or 45 minutes away from here because the the hospitals here in the av they suck like you could be dying they're like <laughs> you're like throwing up and like almost pa like passing out they're like oh it's okay some advil will do you know so we're like screw that so like we like went all the way to like um all of you and then we got there and then it hurt so bad on the way there because my neck kept moving because my sister was driving like fast she's like fast and the furious and shit um but i couldn't move my neck so that's why i heard it so when we get to the doctor um like the, i told the doctor what happened he's like oh what happened and i was like I don't know like I just sneezed and I literally felt like something like jumped like my vein jumped on my neck and I, I I remember like I just passed out and then so then in conclusion I think that the reason why um that happened is because they say it can happen to anybody that um I had an it's called the neck spasm so I guess if you like sneeze too hard you can uh your veins can like uh it can like pop I guess or jump something like that so it makes you have like a neck spasm so you pretty much like um you like black out you can like black out and like your body starts twitching and it's like what the hell i didn't even know that could happen like i didn't know you could have a neck spasm for like sneezing too hard i guess like you have to be careful when you sneeze so when people say bless you literally because your heart can stop and that's kind of funny because i didn't think that i could that all that could happen just because i sneeze like what the heck like so now every time i sneeze i'm like she was like super soft because i'm scared because there has been moments where i have sneezed and i'll forget and i do kind of feel it again i'm like oh she's like i'll pause i'm like am i about to black out because sometimes i'm driving and i'm like oh, i'm scared because i'm like what if i black out and i don't even notice it or like you know so moral of the story do not sneeze too hard because you might get an neck spasm uh, that's what happened guys. That's how I almost died for sneezing Um, you guys are probably like what the fuck <laughs> like but uh, yeah guys, so That is my story. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope Um, I got you guys to laugh a little bit or laugh at me at least a little bit Um, I will say hopefully the next story time about my house burning down Um, another time Um so yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you guys give it a thumbs up if you guys thought it was funny. Alright guys, have a great day. Bye.